find the dimensions of the rectangle of largest area in the first quadrant under the parabola y is equal to 4 minus x squared. So here we're only given one piece of information. We have the parabola y is equal to 4 minus x squared. And we want to find the rectangle underneath this parabola of the largest area. So we at least know that the area of a rectangle is equal to the length times the width. And we want to maximize this area. So to get us started here, let's actually sketch ourselves a little picture. And we know that we're restricted here to quadrant 1. So we have the x and y axis, and we have the parabola that's concave down and shifted up four units. And say right about there is four, and so here is our parabola. This is y is equal to four minus x squared. And we, of course, know that the parabola is continuing on the other side. We only care about quadrant one. So we want to define a rectangle under this parabola. So here's our rectangle here. And we know that this rectangle is intersecting the parabola at some ordered pair x, y. Or we can even write this as x, 4 minus x squared. And looking at our rectangle here, we can see that this length right on our x-axis represents x, and then the height of our parabola, or width, is y. So looking up at our objective equation, we want to maximize this. The way that it's given to us, we need to rewrite this in terms of one variable. So we will use our constraint, or the parabola, to rewrite this. So let's give ourselves some more room. So we want to rewrite the objective equation. So area is equal to x multiplied by y. And since we know that y is defined here as 4 minus x squared, we'll replace the y in our area equation. So this becomes x multiplied by 4 minus x squared, and we'll distribute this x through to both terms, which leaves us with 4x minus x cubed. So we now have our area equation here, or area, as a function of x and we're ready to find those critical values, or critical points. And so to find the critical points, we will set that first derivative of area equal to zero, and solve for x. So taking the derivative, we have four minus three x squared, set equal to zero. So we can solve for x. Now we have minus 3x squared is equal to negative 4. Dividing both sides by negative 3, we're left with x squared is equal to positive 3 fourth, or excuse me, 4 thirds. And now we can take the square root of both sides of our expression, and we are left with x is equal to plus or minus 2 all over the square root of 3. So we have two separate solutions here, or potential solutions. We have that x may be equal to 2 by the square root of 3, or x is equal to minus 2 by the square root of 3. And we can use our logic here. You could use your first derivative test, or we can think about this logically. We want to recall that we are restricted to quadrant 1. If we come back up here we can see that this rectangle, the area that we're looking for, is restricted to quadrant 1. So we know that in quadrant 1, x must be greater than or equal to 0. 
So this shows us that we cannot have a negative dimension. So we can exclude that solution and say that x being equal to 2 by the square root of 3 is going to maximize the area. So this dimension will maximize the area. But we don't want to stop here. We have to keep in mind that the question wasn't what dimension maximizes area, but what is the maximum area. So we'll use this x to find that maximum area. And again, we recall that our area here is defined as 4x minus x cubed. So our maximum area is going to be equal to 4 multiplied by 2 by the square root of 3 minus 2 divided by the square root of 3 cubed. And so we can simplify here. This is going to leave us with 4 times 2 is 8 by the square root of 3 minus 8 over the square root of 3 cubed. So we're left with 3 multiplied by the square root of 3. And then we want to get that common denominator here. So we'll multiply the numerator and denominator of our first term by 3. So we're left with 24 minus 8 all over 3 by the square root of 3, which leaves us with a beautiful final answer of 16 divided by 3 times the square root of 3. So therefore, the maximum area of this rectangle is 16 all over 3 multiplied by the square root of 3, and this is units squared.